Coming up, how new research into the human flu virus could impact the fight against the bird flu. A Bay Area invention that changed the world. We celebrate the 50th anniversary of the first hard drive. Coming up, how many it would take to equal one iPod. Well, yet another system is headed in our direction. Well, today, the city of San Jose paid tribute to an invention that changed the course of technology history. Tony Russomano now on the 50-year evolution of the hard drive. Computer security. A padlock on a circuit breaker. And Al Hoagland throws the switch. It's always got to rotate this way. Rotating up to speed takes a little time for this behemoth from the computer industry's Jurassic period. This is an IBM 350 RAMAC. The name means Random Access Method for Accounting and Control. It is the world's first hard disk drive. Al Hoagland helped work on it as a grad student more than 50 years ago. The San Jose building where Hoagland worked and where the drive was born was honored today with a plaque marking its historic significance. The engineers who did this for a long time didn't even believe it would work. It's a good thing they were wrong. The computers and many electronic devices we use today would not be possible without the advances in hard drive technology that gives us access to vast amounts of data. Now, each platter in this disk drive holds 100,000 bytes of memory, but my little iPod here holds 60 gigabytes of memory. That means, and believe me, my math has already been corrected once on this, to equal the capacity of this thing, you would need 60,000 of these things. But no one working on the IBM drive had any idea where the technology would go. IBM's chairman once said there was a market for only five computers in the entire world. If somebody walked into that lab in 1952 and said, hey, that's nice, but I got this thing that stores 60 gigabytes, what would your reaction have been then? Ah, uh, you're some damn fool. <laughs> we, we ought to uh, send out the door so we can get back to real work. The IBM drive now resides in the Computer History Museum in Mountain View. By seeing where the technology has been can give us clues to what people can develop in the future. In Mountain View, I'm Tony Russomano, CBS 5 Eyewitness News. Lug 60,000 of those around, you're going to build some muscles. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. right. Secrets locked away on a submarine since World War II. Coming up, what happened when the government brought in a safe cracker to get inside the locked safe?